Hey guys, Jared here with RP Strength and Fitness. Uh, I want to take a few minutes to kind of go over this in-body scan, which is a, a new service that we're offering here at our gym. Um, this is a detailed body composition analysis. Um, it kind of breaks down body fat, muscle mass, um, really kind of gives us a detailed idea of what's going on in our body. Uh, now for just about everybody, this could be very beneficial. Um, if you're somebody who is maybe starting a new program and you want to know like where you were relative to where you're going to be. Um, it's a great way to kind of detail that out a little bit, or maybe you're somebody who's been training for a while. Um, you've never actually had any type of like body composition analysis, body fat scan. Um, it's a good way to kind of show and validate the, the hard work that you've done. Um, even for general health purposes, um, I'm going to explain a little bit based off of this scan, why um, sometimes having too little muscle can be uh, detrimental as well. And so when we look at this one, if I was standing with this person, they just did a scan, I'm going to go over it kind of as if I was talking to this person. Um, her name is uh, Jane Doe. Now we use just a phone number ID, um, five foot five, 31 female. Um, when I first look at this, uh, when we get on the scale, it kind of measures a weight. Uh, we enter ID information, those kind of things. And so at 135 pounds, um, really this is a pretty light female at five, five. Um, the first thing I look at after that is the skeletal muscle mass. Um, at 47 pounds, when, when the person weighs 135, I actually immediately see that this is probably a little bit low. Um, I like to see that, you know, higher in general. Um, basically, the more muscle you have, the, the higher your base metabolism can be. Um, generally, the more active you are. There's, there's a lot of things can be associated with higher muscle mass. Um, I, I typically tell people it's better to have more of this pretty much at all times. And so... Um, it'll never be a negative to gain muscle. Now, the next thing I look at is the body fat mass as well as the body fat percentage. Now, I've worked with people in the past that come in, you know, they're very ideal body weight. If we look at the BMI of 22.5, this is considered very healthy in terms of a, VM, a BMI, but 35% body fat would actually be considered obese by many standards. And so, this particular client, I would actually say is deficient in muscle um, because they have a higher relative body fat percentage um, with 35% on only 135 pounds. And so uh, the recommendations for this person would not be to lose weight because even though they see 35% body fat, they might think, oh my gosh, I need to lose weight, I gotta burn fat. Um, no, this person would need to build muscle. And, and oftentimes when I see this, it's evidence or it's evident just by kind of seeing their general body composition, um, you can tell that there's possibly a lack of muscle mass there. Um, that would be also associated by, you know, weakness in some of the testing and assessments that we might do. Now, this breaks down the segmental lean analysis as well as the fat analysis over here on the right. Those are things I really just kind of reference with people just to look for balance. Um, you know, the body fat analysis, you know, oftentimes people carry it in their trunk and core. So it's pretty important um, that we kind of look at where this is associated, legs, arms, but especially when we look at this visceral fat, visceral body fat is the stuff that is stored kind of underneath or underneath your uh, muscle. And that's the stuff that's around the organs, typically associated with higher issues with uh, diabetes and other, um, you know, health conditions. And so we typically want to see that under 10, but the lower, the better. Um, when that is in the 20, 30 range, it's almost, uh, I would say it's, it's from a health standpoint, it's incredibly important for that person to lose some body fat, um, you know, increase activity to help distribute that body fat. Um, and then a basal metabolic rate of about 1200 calories, which that's primarily based off of age, height, and weight, but this takes into consideration body fat and muscle with it as well. Um, so this would be what you burn on a day-to-day -day basis without including any uh, exercise or just the non-exercise activity. And then this at the bottom, the body composition history just kind of shows you details of any previous scans. Now this person I would say is pretty much been on maintenance. Um, this looks like uh, about a four month, five month progression. So there really hasn't been much change in this particular, um, you know, scan. Again, this is a Jane Doe. This is just a general but um, if I was to meet this person and, and look at this, I would typically give a recommendation of some strength training. Obviously coaching and accountability would be huge for that person, but making sure that they're doing the right movements, uh, making sure that they're doing the things that they need nutritionally to uh, improve muscle mass without 
um, you know, overeating on the calories and increasing the body fat uh, disproportionately. And so um, these type of scans, again, very, very beneficial for anybody uh, for general health purposes, all the way up to the elite athlete. And so this is something that um, can be used as a reference for, you know, weight loss progress uh, to show that you're not losing too much muscle. If you're in too big of a calorie deficit, typically you're going to see a lot of muscle mass with weight loss. Um, if you do a rapid weight loss program, oftentimes the greater the weight loss, the more muscle loss. And this would be a great way to verify that what you're doing is either working positively or possibly even negatively um, in your uh, weight loss or, or body composition journey. Now, if you're somebody who's trying to build muscle, again, the scale doesn't necessarily tell you. Obviously, your strength changes and things like that will tell you, but this would be a great way to show that what you're doing is working. Um, and if you have further questions or if this is something that you're interested in getting a scan done, please reach out to us. Um, Facebook uh, website, um, you can reach out to us in a bunch of different ways, but please let us know if you have questions. Um, if you'd like a more detailed discussion of this, uh, please reach out to me and I'll be glad to get back to you. So thank you very much.